Welcome to Franchise Empires. You know, uh, yeah. back to you and Josh, you know, pre-horsepower. Uh, yep. So uh, I was the only person in my family that didn't stay in agriculture out of high school. So I moved to Lincoln, went on Nebraska, uh, went to college. And I, by chance, I took a part-time job at a nutrition store called Complete Nutrition. And the backstory there was the gentleman that owned the top grossing GNCs in the country sold them back, started his own, and uh, just had opened them. And I started as a part-time associate. Well, uh, a few weeks later, I can't remember if somebody didn't, if somebody quit or got fired, but there was basically no one else to become the manager. And I became the manager by default. And I'll never forget, I asked, how much does a manager make? And they said $80,000 when I was 18. And this is know, almost almost 20 years ago. And I was like, um, I'm the manager today. And <laughs> there was five corporate stores. I was open to close most of the nights and you know, built that up into one of the best stores that we had. And a few years later, the founder's nephew franchised the first location. And I thought, gosh, I'm good at this. I should go do that. Well, I had saved up about $20,000 and I went to the founder. I had this idea of like, I'm going to get him to, you know, either uh, co-sign with SBA loan or be my financing partner. And I remember I said, uh, you, know, if you, you can make this much money on me as a manager, or you can let me hire somebody for cheaper and go be a franchisee. And before I even got much out, he goes, I'm in, let's do it. Nice. I co-signed an SBA loan. I moved, to, I moved to Tallahassee, Florida when I was 21. Oof. And opened my first franchise. Damn. And it was awesome. One point, like 1.3 million first year open, bought a Mercedes, you know, never had money <laughs> really growing up. And uh, yeah. But ended up it within, opened the first location, uh, you know, just a young, dumb kid. And within three years, I had seven locations in Florida. I had uh, opened four and acquired three lower performing ones. And, you know, about that first eight months, we were on this trajectory to do around $8 million in sales. And that's interesting when you look at the weight loss industry, two things happen when you sell products. They buy it and it works and they don't buy it again, or they buy it and it doesn't work and they don't buy it again. And so uh, we quickly exhausted our most profitable customer. And at that exact same time, Amazon came in, bodybuilding.com started selling online and we were behind yep. the e-commerce game. I ended up losing everything and filing bankruptcy uh, in my early 20s. And Damn. The real cause, I was personally guaranteed on all my leases for 10 years. And uh, I had two landlords that owned most of the real estate. So I was really screwed. And there was another franchisee at the time who had 10 or uh, ten or 12 or so locations. And we worked out a deal where uh, I could help grow the, his business with some equity uh, but in exchange, it was a $23,000 annual distribution, which was very difficult. And uh, we grew that to 68 stores and over 40 million in revenue in a few, I, mean, I think in three years and did that for over the next decade. And uh, ended up getting to the point where just writing on the wall was that industry was not going anywhere and sold my equity there. And I got into franchise development and consulting. Yeah. And the first brand that I worked with Monster Tree Service, which is my partner Josh's first franchise work. Right? Oh, okay. I know Monster Tree. All right. That's that's incredible connecting the dots there. Um on the I mean on the uh bankruptcy situation, I mean um holy crap, that must have been brutal. Did it was, still, it was tough, but it was tough, but I you know, my favorite quote is good decisions come from experience and experience comes from bad decisions. <laughs> I, I would like not that. be where I am today unless, unless that happened to me. Uh, you know, everything I've ever, any business that I've ever been associated with or part of has grown at an exponential pace. And if you don't take precautions of how you grow, a lot of things happen. And going through that always made me look farther ahead to understand what things could possibly go wrong that could tank what we're building. 